Cram, English Language Convention, Present Perfect Tense, Past Participle, 8th Grade Skill Level, Question 22, Me Medicine, Antidote Your Ignorance, Show Some Love and Throw Some Bands on My Cash App, Cash App, Hashtag, Dollar Sign, Me Medicine. Keep me fueled. I can continuously provide you with these builds. Keep you in the know and up your knowledge game. Be sure to subscribe. English Foundation, Verb Tense, Question 22. Complete the sentence with the present perfect form of the verb. My sister, blank, her newborn daughter, Wilma, after the inspirational track star, Wilma Rudolph, who overcame polio to become an Olympic gold medalist. The task here is to shift the tense of name to its present perfect verb form. The perfect tense describes completed actions. Another way of saying this is the perfect tense usually tells about something that has, had, or will have happened. To form the perfect tense, use a form of the helping verb to have with the past participle of the main verb. The past participle of a verb is usually the same as its past tense form, its simple past tense form, that is. But sometimes the verb is irregular. The present perfect tense tells about something that has happened or has started already. It uses a present tense form of the helping verb to have, which is either going to be has or have. Note that has corresponds to second person singular subjects, and have will be paired with the first person singular pronoun I, the first person plural pronoun we, the second person singular pronoun you, and all third person plural pronouns. All right, so that might have been a lot to digest mentally. Check out these examples. The sun has broken through the clouds. Note that here, has is the second person singular form of the verb to have. Again, it agrees with its singular subject, the sun. Also notice that the main verb broken is the past participle of the verb to break. The past participle verb form of break is obviously irregular. The verb form has broken is the correct present perfect tense. Now check out another example. John and Erica have played the violin for years. Note here that have is the present tense form of the verb to have that is paired again with I, you, we, and all plural subjects. Here our plural subject is John and Erica. So the present perfect tense have played correctly corresponds to its plural subject John and Erica. All right, back to the original question, now for a detailed solution. Again, the present perfect tense tells about something that has happened or has started already. It uses a present tense form of the helping verb to have, which is has, H-A-S, for singular, third person subjects. An example is Wilma. Here, the name Wilma refers to a person, we're not communicating information about ourselves, that would be first person, and we're not talking to someone through written or verbal communication, that would be second person. In third person, we're speaking of someone. So obviously here we're talking about or speaking of Wilma. All right. And we're going to use have, H-A-V-E, for the first person pronoun I. Again, in first person, you're speaking of yourself. And the first person pronoun I is singular, or the plural first person pronoun we, so more than one person speaking of themselves. Have is also going to be used for the second person singular pronoun you, as well as for all other third person plural subjects. And I don't see any third person plural subjects here, but an example would be sisters. And again, this communication is third person because we're speaking about some group of sisters and it's plural because it ends in an S 
indicating that we're speaking about more than one sister. So plural, several, third person, we're speaking about somebody. <laughs> As in gossip, gossip is usually in the third person, okay? All right, let's get back on track. So either form of the verb to have is then combined with the past participle of the main verb. And voila, we have the present perfect tense. According to this rule of formation, has named is the correct present perfect tense verb form. The use of has named is appropriate here because the sister's daughter was named in the past when she was born. So she was already named in the past and is not being named now in the present. I also want you to take into consideration that the main verb name is regular. Therefore, its past participle verb form named is going to be the same as its simple past tense verb form, which is also named. I'll always include additional details to give you more clarity around the topic of verb tense. Once again, we have preceded named with the present tense form of the helping verb to have that agrees in number with its singular third person subject of the verb, my sister. So my sister is a singular third person subject that corresponds to the has form of the helping verb to have. In all, has named is the correct present perfect tense verb form. 